What is up fam? Welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a super, super good one. What we're doing is fully rebuilding a set of Brembo brake calipers. So we're gonna be sandblasting them, powder coating them, putting new seals in them, putting them all back together, and then putting them on a car. I'm gonna be powder coating the calipers a lime green color, so like the color of a brand new STI, that color. And I'm also gonna be powder coating the rotors too. The rotors are just gonna go like a semi-gloss black. Let me show you what we're working with. So these here are the Brembos we're gonna be rebuilding. I'm sure a lot of you will probably recognize exactly what these are for. Here's the fronts, there's the rears, there's all the rotors. Here is the powder. I ordered all my powder from Prismatic Powders. It's been a pretty good company and they next they air all the powder. So it's super awesome. First thing we need to do, just pull these pins out, pull the pads out, and then we're gonna get them sandblasted. Thankfully they sent me these brake lines. So I'm just gonna literally cut the brake line right there, put a bolt in there just so we don't get any sand inside the caliper. All right, everything is torn apart. Step two is to clean them. I could probably go right to sandblasting, but I don't want to contaminate all the sand in the blaster. So I'm going to bring them over to the top parts cleaner over there, get them all cleaned up, and then spray them off, let them dry, and we can get to sandblasting. Honestly, it's probably going to take me three, four hours to sandblast all the calipers and those rotors. All right, calipers are sandblasted, rotors sandblasted. The next step in this process is to fully disassemble these calipers. So there's pistons we gotta take out, four on each caliper, fitting there, fitting there, and that banjo bolt back there. The easiest way I found to get those pistons out of there, grab a two by four like that. We're gonna stick it in between there, pull that banjo bolt off and blow compressed air into the caliper. And that should be enough to get these pistons out of there. As you can see, it works sometimes. Other times you're gonna have to just grab a set of pliers after they pop out a little bit and pull them out the rest of the way. Now, if you see that little black ring down, down in there, that's the piston seal itself. We're gonna have to grab a very, very small flat screwdriver and just prop that out of there. Like so. The caliper is fully disassembled, ready to be cleaned and powder coated. We obviously are gonna have to tape off a few areas, but for the most part, it's ready to go. All of the calipers are disassembled. The next step is going to be to clean them up. So you can either grab a brake cleaner and go through them all, or I'm just gonna grab degreaser and some water, take them outside, hose them down. Don't worry about water being trapped in there because as soon as we powder coat them, all of the water will 100% evaporate. So yeah, get them all cleaned up. As you can see, there's a bunch of brake fluid all over them. We can't have that. Calipers are clean, ready to go. Next step, don't mind that. That's not part of this Brembo set. That's something else I'm working on at the same time. Anyways, next up is to get everything masked out. So we're gonna have to mask where the pistons go. I'll probably just mask that whole area off in there. We're gonna mask that right there. And then something I'm gonna do that I would recommend doing, you don't have to, is mask the mounting surface to where it mounts to the hub. The reason for that, you don't want the powder coat to slowly wear down over time. And then the bolt get loose, your caliper falls off. So I'm just gonna take the precaution and mask that off. It will take a minute to get all four of these masked out, but it'll be worth it in the end. Nice clean lines, they're gonna look good. You know what, since I know there's still a little bit of water inside here and I feel like it's gonna come out as soon as I start masking, I'm gonna throw these calipers in the oven for about five minutes just to get all the water evaporated out of them. You could let them sit out in the sun, but it's nighttime and I do not have a sun. The tape I'm using is made by Tape Masters. It is powder coating tape. So your mask job should look a little something like this when you're all done. I have the hole plugged, the bolt holes plugged from the back side, masked off on the front side, and the green tape down there as you guys can see. This thing is ready to be back in the oven. 
So we got two calipers that we're doing right now masked out. The next step is going to be to get them to hang properly for when we get them in the oven. So I think I'm gonna actually set one of those racks up in the oven, get the calipers to hang down underneath it, and then we can pull them out, clean them up with isopropyl alcohol, put them in the oven for 10 minutes, let them bake out, the reason for that step in that process, there's three main reasons. Number one, we're, that's gonna get every single ounce of water off of it evaporated. Number two, it's gonna get the part warm enough so when we spray the powder on, along with the electromagnetic uh, like attraction that we are using with the clip, I'll show you guys that later, that is gonna allow the powder to stick onto the calipers before it bakes all the way on. And three, the pre-bake process gets all the impurities out of the metal. So it's a nice, perfect finish when we're all done. We're gonna be cleaning them up with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free rag. And then I would highly recommend after we wipe them down to blow them off with compressed air and make sure there's nothing on them at all. They're all masked off, so no more brake fluid is gonna leak out whatsoever. And it's probably all burnt out anyway from the previous time we had them in the oven. All right, they're all cleaned up. From here on out, we cannot touch the surface of these at all. We're gonna go ahead, throw them in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. While those calipers are baking in the oven, we need to get everything set up for powder coating. So we're gonna need compressed air, going to need an extension cord, and then all of the powder coating supplies. So the gun, the gun I use is Eastwood hot coat powder coat gun. Everything I'm using in this video, I'll try and link it down in the in the description box below, including the color. Let me show you guys this color. This color is so gonna be so beautiful. Obviously, it's gonna be like straight up gloss when we get it on, but damn, that's gonna be insane. I'll have that exact, exact color down below so it'd be easy for you guys. So the gun, the air pressure regulator, you're gonna want a filter as well for that air supply. And then we're gonna need a little hopper to put the powder in. And to get the powder into the hopper, I like to use a spoon. And then of course, everything we use to mask off the caliper and all the rubber plugs and all that, I'll throw that down below as well. Make it super, super easy for you guys. So we're gonna get this thing set up. Let me kind of guide you through on what we are doing here. So we have the airline connected to the, to the nozzle down here. It's gonna go to the air pressure regulator first, then through the filter to the gun. I always have that set around like 10-ish PSI. Over here we have, of course, that connected to power. This clip right here, that has to connect somewhere on the part. That's how the powder stays on there for the most part before we bake it all the way on. And every time you're spraying with the gun, you need to hold this down. That charges that clip through the box, through the wall, it's gonna charge that clip and electromagnetically some freaking science crap, it allows the powder to stay on. So we're pretty much ready to go. We need to fill this about a quarter of the way up or so with powder. Make sure this is 100% clean. I always blow it out with compressed air beforehand. And then we can screw that onto the bottom of the gun, get to powder coating. Calipers have been in the oven for 10 minutes now. Time to pull them out and spray them out. So as I mentioned earlier, this clip has to go somewhere on the part when you're powder coating it. From here, I always like to grab a light and just go around whatever I'm powder coating. Make sure there's no areas that need more coverage. That looks good. The backside of that one needs a little bit more, it looks like. Calipers are ready to go back in the oven. So they go in for 12 minutes at 400 degrees. The 12 minute starts as soon as the calipers themselves hit 400 degrees, so it's called 400 degrees, 12 minutes at PMT, meaning part metal temperature. We need to be very, very careful not to hit those calipers on anything as we transport them to the oven. All right, so they're in the oven. I'm guessing it's gonna take about five minutes for them to reach part metal temperature. 
being that they're aluminum, so it should be a little faster than steel. And then as soon as they hit 400 degrees, the timer for 12 minutes starts. So we're about five minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh, those things are looking amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature of them right now. We're at 300 degrees, so not quite to 400. So we're gonna have to let those bake for a little bit longer before we start the timer. It's been about three more minutes. Let's check on the color, or let's check on the temperature again. Right now we're at 370. Let's start the timer right now. I don't think they're ever gonna reach a full 400 degrees. 12 minutes is up, let's pull them out. Oh my gosh, guys, these are gonna look so amazing on the car. I think the color might change a little bit as they dry off, or not dry off, cool down. But look at the gloss on the front side of these things. So amazing. I'm gonna wait for these to cool down. Then I'll show you the end result. I'm gonna bang out these other two real quick. Show you them when we're all done. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this on camera, but the color difference between the calipers that are cooled off versus the ones that just came out of the oven is massive. Those are super like lime green. These are straight up yellow right here. That's like Three Cities BRZ. That's like Salus 86. I guess here's a better comparison. This one right here literally just came out of the oven. That one's cooled off. Look at the difference. Oh yeah, I did put a sticker on just to see how, how this would look. With the decals, bring it out in the sun. Look at that pop. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked for these. All of the calipers are done. As you can see, looking absolutely gorgeous. The last thing to do is bang out these rotors. So I masked off the area where the wheel is gonna be bolting on. For the same reason, I masked off the area where the caliper bolts on. We don't want that powder getting worn out, you know, your lug nuts coming loose and your wheel falling off. So I masked that area off. The reason I didn't mask this area off, I'm gonna have these rotors turned after I get them powder coated. So pretty much all we're coating is in there and that. Let's bang these things out, semi-gloss black or a satin black, and we will be done. These things are gonna look absolutely amazing on the car. You guys will see what they're going on. It's gonna be a huge surprise. Just stay tuned. All right, all we have left to do, wait for our new seals for the calipers to come inside. Come inside come in the mail and then we can get them all reassembled and back onto a car. As soon as those seals come in, I'll pick this video back up. All right, we got all of the seals done for the calipers. I have everything laid out. So front lift caliper with all the parts that came off the front lift caliper with the seals. Likewise for every single caliper. The next step is going to be to reassemble the calipers, of course. So we need to pull all the masking off, all these plugs out, all the masking off here. And we're gonna start by installing the inner seals first. We're then gonna put the dust seals onto the piston, slide the piston into the caliper. Next step is to get these seals into the caliper. So very, very easy to do, honestly. Just slide it down in there, make sure it doesn't kink up at all. And it goes right in that little recessed area where the old one came out. And it should look like that when you are all done. So what we're gonna do here is get this dust boot on the piston before we put the piston into the caliper. All of the dust boots on the piston should look like that. Very nice tight fit. Obviously you don't want it kinked anywhere. Now, if you have assembly loop, I would recommend putting a tiny, tiny bit on each of the pistons before we slide them into the caliper, just to make sure that they slide past that seal that's already in the caliper and it doesn't catch up and tear the seal at all or just not slide in whatsoever. So I'm gonna put a very, very tiny bit of this red line assembly loop on there. You don't want too much, obviously, just enough. I would say something like that should be pretty adequate. Let's try to get this one in the caliper. So piston is in the caliper. Let's bang out the other three pistons and then we can move on to the rest of the calipers, get the rest of the caliper assembled and get some decals on here. As soon as we get the pistons in, we need to push these dust seals down. You can choose your finger for that, but make sure they get seated all the way. So just go around the whole edge. If there's a bit of assembly loop on that dust seal, it should slip right into place with no shoes at all. One important thing to note, as you're pushing these pistons in, they should go in very, very easily. Like once they slip past the seal, they should literally snap into place. You'll hear them snap down. If they're hard to push in, pull them back out, maybe put, throw some more assembly lube on it, twist the piston around as you're pushing it down and it should slide past that seal just fine. 
<laughs> yeah, all right guys from here it's literally cleaning these things up putting those top fittings on putting the pads back in the shims back in that's all really really easy to do self-explanatory i'm not going to bore you guys with that footage i will show you the end result these things are looking absolutely amazing One thing I would highly recommend is greasing up the pins with a little bit of grease and then disc brake quiet. I'm gonna put a tad bit of that on the backside of our pads. Calipers are done and oh my lord, these calipers look absolutely amazing. Let's check them out. So I know I haven't said much about what these calipers are going on, what car they're going on. And the reason is because the whole time it's been a huge surprise. My girlfriend Bobby bought a Honda Genesis a while back, about a year and a half ago. Ever since she picked up the car, she's been wanting bright green Brembos on the car. She's gone from like wanting to paint her stock calipers, which are not Brembos, to like a bright green color, to caliper covers. She didn't want to dump them the amount of money that Brembo's cost. So I picked these up online. As you guys saw, I completely redid them, powder coated them this amazing color, got everything done. She's coming over here later today. She has no clue whatsoever that I've been doing this for her. I've kind of been doing it behind the scenes, taking a lot of my spare time, but I'm so pumped they're done. Her reaction to these Brembo's is gonna be probably the next video after this. It's gonna be absolutely crazy, guys. I already know it is. Now, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Go down below, comment hashtag, hashtag Brembo. Thank you so much for watching. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll try to have all this powder coating stuff, all the supplies linked down below. And also any of you Genesis people, I know there's a few Genesis fans on here. If you have Brembo's on your car and you want to rebuild them, I'll throw the rebuild kits down in the description box below for the for the Brembo R spec calipers and the color for these calipers as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you in that reaction video. See you guys then.